Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, welcome back to the Caitlin Saga, and welcome to another evening, well, outside working on the truck because the garage is all jammed up. So anyway guys, if you've been following along, um, the last episode we got the transmission in Caitlin, um, had a little bit of a snag, if you will, with the extension housing or the rear housing on the 68 RFE. But that's all cleared up so we're going to finish that tonight um or at least hopefully finish that that was the goal last time but stuff got in the way anyhow tonight hopefully we'll get this all wrapped up really we just have a bunch of um miscellaneous stuff that we have to do so starting from the front of the truck working to the rear of the truck we have our torque converter that we have to bolt to our flex plate we have our um, little support brackets that come off the 68 rfe but if you'd focus off the 68 RFE, they come off the uh, transmission and bolt to the block of the engine. I don't know that they're necessary. I mean, you take them off when you 48 swap a truck like we did with the race truck, but they're on there, so we're going to put them back. Also, we have um, obviously our little inspection cover um, shield. We got to put that back on, hook up our cooler lines. We have all the uh, miscellaneous wires on the transmission. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we have a bunch of sensors and stuff like that to hook up. We have our front drive shaft that needs hooked up as well. Our rear drive shaft also needs installed. And we have these two little stainless uh, lines that go back to our, our DPF and go up to some little box. It's got an electrical connector. Don't know what it's called, but we got to do that too. So speaking of our drive shaft, I did get it all cleaned up. It was had a little surface rust on the shaft there um, from sitting outside, but also take note that this is an aluminum drive shaft, a factory aluminum drive shaft. I was gonna take this one out and actually swap it with the one in the race truck because it's a steel one. I weighed them, they're like 13 pounds different. Um, the steel one in the race truck is the heavier one, obviously, but unfortunately, this drive shaft is a bit longer than that one. I figured with this being a quad cab short bed and the race truck being a standard cab long bed, same wheelbase that the um, drive shafts would work. No, nah. nope, not going to work. So we're going to be putting this thing completely back to factory. I was really hoping to put that, uh, you know, save that extra, you know, 15 pounds or so on the race truck because any less rotating weight is definitely worth it so that's the plan let's get to it we'll get the basically my plan is just to work to from front to back you know do the torque converter and then keep moseying on back um hopefully we get to driving the truck a little bit tonight i mean we're not going to go for a drive drive but just make sure that she moves um we can't go for a drive because she doesn't have any coolant in her and we're still waiting on a part so we can finish up our whole emissions reinstall and all that kind of stuff but hopefully this truck moves under its own power this evening.
So we got our torque converter um, completely bolted to the flex plate. Um, it fought me a little bit because I ran in the bolt, uh, first bolt too hard and then I couldn't move the converter. So I got like three bolts in and then I couldn't get any others lined up. So I had to you know, move it back around, loosen the bolts up so I could you know, wiggle the converter a little and then got all the bolts in um, and then tighten them up fully. Also, red Loctite as always on our torque converter bolts. Also these um, transmission lines, the one was fighting me as you can see here, I have swedge lock connectors on there um, because this, these tubes were originally cut when I had the 48RE in here, um, when I had that swapped. Um, just used a swedge lock and we ran our aux cooler in there plus you know that and uh, 48s cooler lines actually come on the driver's side here so had to you know you know fabricate or not fabricate had to make something up that would work with that but that was our solution to put it back to a 68 luckily i had kept these lines as you guys kind of probably figured out i'm a bit of a pack rat when it comes to that stuff because hey you never know like our emission system never thought i'd put it back on here but sure enough we did um anyhow got all of our electrical connections done got our shift linkage done all that um all those wires are in place everything's ran you know uh it's pretty self-explanatory where they go there's only one spot they can go one place it can connect our front drive shift is bolted back to our um, transfer case again also our transfer case will definitely need some fluid um, as yeah last night i wore most of it and our rear drive shift is in also i connected these two stainless tubes to this little module here um, i don't know what they are i don't know what they do but they're reconnected um, all that's done everything is bolted up fully our little um shield there for the flex plate yeah so this thing is fully back installed but it's kind of unfortunate so the unfortunate part about the whole thing is i said my goal was to have the truck moving under its own power this evening we're not going to meet that goal and that is my fault so it is sunday evening me not thinking i figured advanced auto they're open till nine we're good whatever yeah it's sunday they close at seven it's past seven so we're not going to get that done we need fluid in order to operate the truck but that being said i made a post this evening on instagram talking about our little rear housing problem that we have with this little extension and my man mike um from old dunes quickly dm me and said hey tom i don't want to blow your stuff up but yeah you're wrong <laughs> Um, that's not exactly how he put it, but he basically told me, he says, now this is an extension here for if you have a four-wheel drive, or not a four-wheel drive, if you have a lift kit and there's a clocking ring that goes on here for the transfer case, I guess to get it at the, you know, get your drive shaft angle correct, I think. Um, but anyhow, he said, this is just a spacer that presses in here. He said, we should be able to just pull this thing out and then we would have been able to put it back, which in our case, we didn't change the seal out, which maybe we should have, I don't know, but we didn't have a seal anyhow. So we would have had to change this housing, but let's give this a rip and uh, see if we can get this little thing out and see what this is all about. So our man Mike was correct. Um, this is just a little extension here. Normally your seal would go in there, but here it is. Um, that was what was the big trouble last night. Uh, I just popped it out with a brass bar and a hammer real quick. Um, much easier than just using some pliers. But yeah, so uh, yeah, didn't know that. Thanks Mike, really appreciate it. Uh, he's 5.9 Mike on the Instagram. Uh, yeah, appreciate it man. So, Mike, I really do appreciate that. Um, I left the post up. I just edited my comments on the Instagram um, so you guys can check it out. Um, I'm all about learning. Hey, I made a mistake. I, I think you guys are well aware. I'm more than happy to show people my mistakes because that way you won't make them. Hey, I didn't know that. I thought it was the difference in the transfer cases that was the problem. It wasn't. It was that this 
transmission came out of a truck that apparently had a lift kit so mike once again appreciate it check him out 5.9 mike on the instagram so anyway guys our transmission is fully installed everything is done everything's bolted up tightened up all she needs is some fluid and we are good to go um, also our transfer case needs some fluid because my arm the other night was well soaked in it but anyway guys that's another night out here caitlin is getting close we need another coolant pipe obviously our fluid some tuning um, adjustments if you will and all that and, and she is pretty much back to stock um, mechanically she has a few things you know visually that are not stock but that might be changing as well but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you guys subscribe to the channel like the video give it a big thumbs up all that kind of stuff get out in your garage get the wrench in on your truck